kid, about two years old, and uh, I have one of these memories. Actually, it's the first memory I have in my whole life. I can't remember anything before it. I was standing next to a friend of my father's, a guy named Huey Ledbetter. And I don't remember where it was, but I just remember standing there coming up to his knee or something. And I know I had to be about two years old because by the time I was three, he was already gone. I mean, he was an old man when I met him. He was born 1880-something in Louisiana. Spent a lot of time, years, in a Texas penitentiary because he got in a fight and somebody died and he was doing the time for that. But they let him out. They gave him a full pardon because he wrote great songs. What a freaking concept. <laughs> Imagine how many songs are locked up around the world, you know. And anyway, I grew up singing a lot of the old Lead Belly songs. You can imagine, learned to play the 12 string because of that. That's what he did. And uh, I have other memories of him and his wife Martha. And uh, I was thinking about this the other day because, well, we were down in Louisiana. We had uh, a few days off. Not enough time to actually go anywhere and come back and continue the tour. So we're just hanging out there and I got an idea. I said to everybody, we're going on a mission from God. And they went, oh man, now one of those. I said, yep, we're going to find Lead Belly's grave. I knew he was buried somewhere in Louisiana. And there's no point of interest on the GPS that says Lead Belly's grave. you got to be driving around asking people, you know, old school. So finally, we're outside of Shreveport up on a little hill. There's a little church. We pull a tour bus around the back. And we're walking through the graveyard, just checking it out. And sure enough, we come upon this big tombstone that said, Hughie Leadbetter, Leadbelly, king of the 12-string guitar. And we found Leadbelly's grave, and we were so excited. And he had a big wrought iron gate all around him. And one of the guys in the crew said, They still got him locked up! <laughs> so we broke that open. <laughs> Got out the 12-string guitar, sat on his grave like I remembered sitting in his lap and just sang some old Lead Belly songs and this is one of them.